Today I'm going to show you how I plan to keep track of my students this year as they leave and re-enter my classroom. The idea here is that I want my students to have a digital timestamp of the date and the time that they left because they will be signed into their school accounts, will have their email address tagged in as well, and the student will select where they plan to go. You can see down here I've set up tabs for where they're leaving and when they're returning from a specific location. You can choose to customize this the best way that you want. I've chosen at this point to just do bathroom and nurse passes. So here's how we do it. We're going to go to our Google Drive and we're going to start a new form. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible and collect as little information as I need. So first I'm going to start by calling this my sample and pass. And I'm simply going to ask the student, where are you going? You can add as many options as you want. For example, you could also add a locker information, uh, but we can also add others so the students can customize it if they need to. Uh, but there's a couple other things that we need to do here. This needs to be required because the student must answer before they leave. And we should go up here to the cog and make sure that we check collect email addresses. This is going to stamp their school email address onto the form. They don't have to enter anything. This can be as quick as possible. And in fact, we can see what it will look like from their end, they will literally see that they're signed in. Where are you going? They click and submit. Very, very easy. So what we want to do right now is have a location where that information is being collected. I'm going to go in responses. And we can see that there is one response recorded, but we want to make a spreadsheet. For the first time, we're going to create a new spreadsheet. Let's click Create. And you can see it's put the timestamp my email address, and where I have gone into these separate columns. This is the spreadsheet that I'm, or at least the tab of the spreadsheet that I'm going to use for students leaving. So we can rename this tab at the bottom here, leaving. The next thing I'm going to do is create a second form for students that are returning. Again, I think simplicity is the key here. And there are you arriving. And I personally prefer to keep this as a multiple choice. Keep the same theme and choose to do something else. Again, make sure this question is required and go into the cog and make sure that you are collecting email addresses. Okay, here's one part of this that I think is going to be extremely convenient. When we go into responses like we did before, we're going to click create a spreadsheet, but we're actually not going to create a new spreadsheet. This time we're going to select an existing spreadsheet. And we should select the spreadsheet that we just created, which I think is this one. And you can see that the old tab that I just created for leaving is down here. And the new tab for returning is right here. I'm just going to rename this returning. So now you have a record side by side of when they're leaving and when they're returning, depending on the view that you prefer. You can have a timestamp of both of these and you can keep track of where your students are going by date and time. Now, in my opinion, the best part of this is the efficiency for the student to scan a QR code uh, in order to get out of the room. So I'm going to create some QR codes that are going to bring the students to these forms. So I'm going to close out a couple pieces of information here. And we're going to go to a QR code generator, which I happen to find on Google. This one is www.qr-code-generator.com. And we need the links for the forms themselves. Let's see, this says that this is going to be my return form. 
So we'll make sure that we are going to label that appropriately later. Now I have found with QR codes that you need a short link. So do the shortened URL and copy that. And we are going to go into this and paste our link. Very quick to create the QR code with this website. It does take a few seconds to download. It's a slightly inconvenient process. You may have a better one to use, but I was just using literally the first one that I found. And uh, so this will ask me to name this. So we're going to name this return QR, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Okay, so it should be there by now. You can see oops, that's my finished product, but here's my return, my return QR code right here. I'm going to double click, and it will give me just on top of that zip file it will give me the actual file. I'm going to rename that because it will give it a generic name that's not convenient. We're going to call this the return QR sample. I no longer need the zip file. Okay, I need to repeat the process for creating the QR code for the opposite, for the, for the leaving um, QR code to link to the other form. So do that same process again. And what you want to do is to just create yourself some sort of poster and paste in the QR codes. And when the students use their QR scanner, it will bring them directly to those forms. They fill them out and hopefully with one click or two clicks, they're able to leave your classroom. Thanks for listening today and I hope this was helpful. Feel free to send me an email if there's anything else I can do to help out.